Today's research day at Max Kelson. I'm excited. We've dedicated, or well, the ML team have dedicated Mondays to, to reading papers and, and looking up new ways of doing things. Give me a second. Let me open this, this gate. Keep the parties out. I'm not entirely sure what we'll be exploring. I think it'll be something to do with maybe reinforcement learning or PyTorch. I've been really wanting to start learning PyTorch lately. But whatever it is, whatever we end up diving into, as long as the other tasks that we have to do are, are taken care of, like writing reports and, and working on client projects, we'll get into some research. <laughs> You know, after years of my whole life living in Brisbane, I never knew this bridge existed. Well, I'd seen it, but I'd never been through it. Look how cool it is. It's just like a tunnel over the street. All these new places you can find. You just go exploring a little. I'm gonna go get some coffee and do some writing. Morning. How are you? Excellent, how are you? Can I sit inside? Yeah, yeah? of course. How cool is this chair I'm in? Actually, how cool is this cafe I'm in? Check this out. Mm -hmm. Motorbike, motorbike, motorbike. Epic artwork. About half a dozen motorbikes down there. I don't yet know how to ride a motorbike, but I will learn one day. Sorry, Mum. Now I just finished riding. I took a bit longer than I thought. I got to get to. I got to get to work. Lunchtime. It's been a real productive morning. Actually, it's it's about 2 p.m. now. So so lunch is a little bit late, but that's all right been having fun. That's a word I've been trying to swap out actually. Is oh, everything's falling over this table has ridges in it. Is swapping out busy for productive, right? Because I think I'm not, not the biggest fan of the word busy. Because I mean it busy to me sounds like you've got so many things going on, but productive, simple little word change and makes all the difference. Do you want to eat lunch with me? Nah that'll be a bit boring. Let me tell you the good stuff. I'm gonna eat this because starving and then we'll go for a walk of what I've been up to on research day. It's been real fun. Peanut butter is well and truly my favorite food. Only the ones that are 100% peanuts though. Oh, actually almond butter is my favorite food. Peanut butter is a close second. The perks of having your own jar, you can eat straight from the jar. That might offend some people. But, not for eating. Let's go for a walk. So we started off the morning reading a Medium article which discussed the state of the art play for Montezuma. And Montezuma is like a 2D game. And the state of the art play was DeepMind and OpenAI releasing algorithms which can essentially solve the, the, the game. Play it better than any human getting tens of thousands of points. Why were we doing that? because the theme for research over the next few Mondays is to explore reinforcement learning. Why? Well, a couple of weeks ago we entered a competition for, for OpenAI. Uh, we didn't do too very well. Our algorithm sort of finished up with Sonic just jumping randomly down, up and down on the screen. So, in light of that, we'd like to do a little bit better on the Pomerman competition. And what's that? And all of this will be linked in the description. The Pomerman competition is a different version of, of Bomberman. With essentially with, with, with more than one player. Right? And you, it's just an 11 by 11 screen, and you, you've got characters and they move around and they drop bombs and whatnot. 
And so our goal is to enter that competition with a reinforcement learning algorithm of sorts, hopefully coded from scratch, and then see how we go. So that's that's what we're gonna dedicate Mondays for over the next over the next few weeks. And I mean Will we get anything valuable out of it? It's it's hard to say, right? Because that's that's what you've got to try with with research. You're gonna you gotta spend a little time exploring the unknown. Because you never know what you might stumble across. And so, what have I been doing specifically? Took my jumper off. It's getting hot. So specifically, I've been going through the GitHub repo of the Pomerman competition and essentially just been going through the code, looking through each file, looking through some sample Python scripts and writing them out so I, so I gather an understanding. And is it the best way? Well, not in, I'm not entirely sure, but it's working for me, right? Because what I'm trying to do is get my head around the problem, go through it in a step-by-step -step fashion, because this morning I really had no idea. So if we're going to implement our own version of a reinforcement learning agent, uh, we've, we've definitely got to have a fundamental understanding of the problem. And so, for the rest of the afternoon, I think I'm going to be trying to, to get some OpenAI code running, or OpenAI, an OpenAI algorithm called PPO, which is proximal, I should really know what the acronym stands for, but we'll figure that out. Well, I've got a little metaphor on what, what happened for the rest of the day. So Xavier and I were going back through some OpenAI gym examples, getting, getting some code running there because we decided to take two steps back before taking a step forward. We want to really understand the, the PPO, which is Proximal Proximity Optimization Algorithm, I believe, that's a mouthful, before we start implementing it for, for Pomerman. I think that's, that's where our starting point is going to be. So, so next Monday, we're going we're gonna to go back. I've printed out the paper for the PPO algorithm. I'm going to go through that. I'm going to try and get some, some code from the OpenAI. I believe they have a baseline implementation on GitHub. So I'm going to try and get that running next Monday. But for the next two days, I'm, I'm at a client. So I'm on site. And I don't think I can bring you along because of this privacy and whatnot. But whatever I learn, come your way. Cracking. How was your day, little bro? Good. Good? My first day of my new course in TAFE. What is it? Uh, it's uh, three in um, screen and media. Screen and media, my boy. You can help me out with my videos, make them a bit better. Yeah, all I do is uh, OH and S is first lesson, so it's a little bit boring. Safety, yeah. safety first every time. Actually, it should be safety third. Take some risk, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you remember my catchphrase from last night? Yes. What is it? Keep learning. Keep learning, team. Signing off. It's been a good day. Lots of learning. I got, I got plenty more to go through. Probably going to go home and, and write down what I need to cover over the next two days. Peace out. Later. <laughs>